What's going on, everyone? Nick Baldwin here, regional technology trainer for Michigan and Northern Ohio. And uh, I'm going to do another how-to video for you today. This is something that will make you think a little bit outside the box, which sometimes we have to do. Command has a lot of features, and some of those features aren't very obvious in the sense that um, what I'm going to show you isn't something that Command actually has in terms of a feature, but I'm going to create it for you. I know that's kind of confusing, but let me jump in and show you what I mean. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my QR code for my app on a flyer. You can put it on a door hanger. Nick, your app has a QR code? Yes, it does. Watch this. Okay, here we are. I'm in landing pages. I want to create a landing page. And this is what I want to do. Um, I'm going to do a standalone page, right? Uh, create page. And this is just a regular standalone um, standalone landing page that I'm creating so people can download my app. And here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I am going to grab a couple widgets over here. Um, I am going to grab a, where's the listing widget? Uh, listing widget. <laughs> there it is. Here we go. I'm going to bring it right over here. Okay. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit more to the bottom here. And then I'm going to grab a download my app widget. And I'm going to put that right down here. All right. And then I'm going to grab my local expert widget and grab it and throw it right down here. So people can have a little bit uh, more information about me. I might as well throw a lead form in there too. So let's just drop that down at the bottom. Perfect. All right, so obviously I have to configure this widget uh, to show a listing that I, wanna, that I wanna feature. So let's configure that and go to listing. Let's browse. Um, I'm just going to choose really like the first one of the first ones that pop up just for, you know, example purposes. And, uh, oh, you know, let me change that because it doesn't look like there's many photos there for that one. So let's just grab this one. Okay, let's see. Well, maybe this will work. It doesn't look like there's too many photos there unless they're just not showing up. Okay, well, there's only one photo for this property, which is fine for, for example purposes. It doesn't really matter. I don't need more photos. All right, so that's pretty much all I want to do right now. Um, I just wanted to create this landing page and have a, a single property on it and then a call to action to download my app. So we saved and apply, and now I just have to tweak the local expert widget a little bit because my bio is a little bit long. And I'm just going to da, 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 delete the last half here and let's save and apply. Oh, my role, tech trainer. Let's see, save and apply, save and apply. Did it work? Am I missing something? Oh no, my app link. Okay, I gotta grab my app link. Let me grab that for you too. You can find that in the consumer setting in command under site pages and no i'm sorry under site and app settings and then url and then you can grab it so let's just drop that right there and now i'm going to save and apply okay cool so what i want to do now is i'm going to give this a name so download my kw app just so i know which one it is when i want to pull it up and add the qr code let's publish that page yes i want to publish that page perfect all right now let's get out of here now what i want to do is i want to go to campaigns okay and in campaigns i'm going to want to go to direct mail i'm not sending a postcard but this is how I'm going to improvise and grab my app's QR code. I'm going to create the new campaign, click direct mail. I'm just going to call this QR code and doesn't matter, advertise listing. We're going to use a default image provider because, again, we're not creating a postcard. I just need to get a QR code. And um, 
if I want to search the property address that I uh, that I created on the landing page, I don't remember what it was, but if you were actually doing one, you know, then you would you would grab um, a listing. But in this instance, I really don't need to grab the listing uh, because what I'm doing is I'm not creating a postcard. I just want to create the QR code that can that can uh, be the QR code that when someone scans it, they get that landing page that I just created. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna choose tracking because what I need to do is I need to just find that page that I created just now. And I think I called it KW app. Oh, download my KW app. I think this was it, right? So now that I've chosen the the the, the page that I just created and I've turned on tracking, I'm going to go up here and preview postcard. Okay. And then and there's nothing here again, because I'm not creating a postcard for a listing, but I want to go to the back and I want to grab a screenshot of this QR code. Now, however, your computer grabs screenshots. I don't know. I use Clipular. Uh, you can find it in the Chrome store and it's super easy to use. And I'm just going to do this. There, now it takes a picture of it. And what I'm gonna do is download that. Oops, didn't get the greatest picture. Let's do this again. Sometimes you just have to like position it just right because it gets kind of funky sometimes. Let me try that one more time. It has to be like in the right position. Uh, man, that is like being a pain in my butt. Hold on a second, guys. Let's grab this here. Let me start up a little higher. There, that works. Perfect. Okay, got it. Woo! Sometimes you just got to like tr test it a little bit and see. Now I'm going to save that and download it. Okay. Now what I want to do is get out of here and I want to go to designs. So I'll leave this page. Let's go to designs and maybe I'm going to create a door hanger. All right. So let's go to print and click next. Now, if you want to create, um, if you want to create a door hanger and you do want to use that listing that you put on your single property page, definitely do that. I'll show you how to do that. Let me go into, let's see, listings. I'm in print. I just have to remember where the, the um, door hangers are. I'm not seeing the door hangers for some strange reason. Maybe they're in some new area that I don't know about. Uh, is it under a local expert? Door hangers, there we are. Sometimes they move things around. Um, you know what? I'm not feeling that specific door hanger. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, oh, here's the door hangers. Oh my gosh. They just move things around on me sometimes. Okay. Um, cool. Let's use this one because there's some white space at the bottom. So I'm going to use this door hanger. Let's let that open up. All right. Perfect. So now, as you guys saw, I, uh, I, I, I downloaded that QR code. I took a, a screenshot of that QR code. And so I'm going to go to images and I want to add, I want to add it. Okay. And I have a couple QR codes, but it's this one that I'm going to use. Okay. And then I'm going to want to add that image. So let's. Bring that down here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Um, probably bring it a little further down to the bottom. And what you can do here is you can go to um, company and grab some app images. And then we can grab like, uh, this is, this is, I like this app image because it's kind of a 3D. So I'm going to click plus 
and then I'm going to like bring this down here, right? Um, and then the photo of the listing uh, that I used on the landing page, I would go to KWLS. And because I don't know, um, because I don't remember what listing I used because I was doing it for example purposes, I'm just going to type in Clarkston, Michigan, which is where I uh, reside and find some sort of, let's just use this. And how you replace an image here is just replace image. There you go, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do here now is I'm going to delete a couple of these things at the bottom. I'm gonna delete these uh, preset uh, text fillers and I'm going to put text of my own and I'm going to say, here's what I'm going to say. Scan code to, uh, to see more and download. Let's not say download and get our app. Okay, so this I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring this right down here and I'm going to align that better and then I'm going to make this a fancier font. Let's see, how does this look? Oh yeah, that looks nice. Scan code to see more and get our, oh, I spelled get wrong. Such a bad speller, guys. <laughs> Okay, uh, so that looks kind of nice. Okay, so then obviously what you would do is you would fill in, you know, the rest of these, um, the rest of these features here. You could uh, put the street, the featured listing, and the address. But the cool part about this is if you guys want to, let me zoom in on this a little bit. If you guys took your phone right now and you held, and I'm, if you guys took your phone right now and you held your phone up to that QR code, you opened up your, um, if you opened up your camera and you held your um, you held your camera up to that QR code right now, you would actually then get uh, the link to the landing page that I just created. So this is a, an out of the box improvisational way to add a QR code to a door hanger, to a flyer. You could even do like a paperless or a, um, you know, a paperless open house. You could have it on the flyer. Please sign in by scanning this code. Um, you know, it could be very, um, you know, very uh, uh, improvisational and creative with this stuff. So this is a really easy way. I know there's a few steps, but it's a very out of the box, easy way to add your QR code for your app or for a listing that links to a landing page to anything and not just a direct mailer. All right. So I hope that this was um, educational for you, gave you some out of the box ideas and uh, have a great day. We'll see you next time.